decrease in provision for irrecoverable debts. Lesson objectives. To calculate provision for irrecoverable debts for the end of the financial year, to adjust for irrecoverable debts and find the net trade receivables, to calculate a, a decrease in provision for irrecoverable debts post entries to ledgers and show the impact in the financial statements. This will be the impact when there is a provision for irrecoverable debt and let's see what would be the impact for each one of them. Provision for irrecoverable debts has a credit balance in order to increase you credit it, in order to decrease you debit it. Bad debts or irrecoverable debts, normal balance debit to increase your debit, to decrease your credit. Trade receivables normally have a debit balance in order to increase debit, in order to decrease credit. Now, let's look into the checklist of what are we going to complete today. Number one, post opening balances of trade receivables, irrecoverable debts, provision for irrecoverable debts. Number two, post double entry for current year irrecoverable debt, debit irrecoverable debt account, credit trade receivables account, and balance of trade receivables account, balance carry down, brought down, whereas balance of irrecoverable debts account and transfer to income statement. Number three is to calculate provision for irrecoverable debts. Find out the closing balance of the trade receivable. Apply the percentage of provision for irrecoverable debt. Once you find the answer, you enter this information in provision for irrecoverable debt above the total on the debit side as balance carried down, below the total on the credit side as balance brought down. Then you balance off the provision for irrecoverable debt and find the difference. As per today's topic, the difference will appear on the debit side, therefore we will transfer it to income statement on the other income section. Now let's look at the question. These are the information which is given in your question. So first of all, as for the checklist, let's move step by step. So first, we're going to transfer the balances, opening balances to trade receivables, irrecoverable debts, both on the debit side, whereas provision for irrecoverable debts on the credit side. So this is the question. Let's move to trade receivables. It has 12,000. Debit side. You write 1106 balance brought down and the value which is 12. Now let's move to irrecoverable debts account. It goes on the debit side as balance brought down. Let's go back to the question to see the balance which is 100. So let's enter 100. Now the opening balance of provision for irrecoverable debts which is worth 2000. So move to your provision for irrecoverable debts into 2000, date 1st of Jan 2006, balance brought down. Now we are completely done with step 1, let's move to step 2. the double entry for irrecoverable debt, debit irrecoverable debt account and credit trade receivables account. Followed by that we are going to balance off the trade receivables and the irrecoverable debt. How much is the irrecoverable debt amount which needs to be adjusted for the current year is 1500. So go to irrecoverable debt, end of year date. Opposite accounts name trade receivables and the amount 1500. Now move to trade receivables account, 
31st 2006 opposite accounts name as irrecoverable debt and the amount 1500 now the next step is to balance of the ledger as you can see the debit side is greater bring down the debit side total and then write it over here find the difference between 12000 the total and the credit side which is 10500 balance carry down 31st 2006 Opposite side 1107 as balance of down and then the amount 10,000. But balancing irrecoverable debt is a bit different because we transfer the amount to uh, income statement. So you find total of 1,600. Write the same total over here. One thousand six hundred take away zero gives you the same answer. Thirty first twelve zero six. You transfer it to income statement under the category of expenses. Now let's move to number three. Calculate provision for irrecoverable debts three point one. Closing balance of TR account and then the percentage of provision for irrecoverable debt. As for the question, the irrecoverable debt percentage is ten. Go to the closing balance of your trade receivable, which is ten thousand five hundred. Find ten percent. So when you find ten percent, you get one zero. Now, how are we going to transfer this information? Move to provision for irrecoverable debts account. First of all, on the debit side, you write this, and on the credit side, below the total, year end date, balance carry down, opposite side, the next date, balance brought down. Now we make a comparison between the debit and the credit side. So we are going to find the total here. The credit side is greater, so I'm bringing down the credit side total. Now from this you deduct one zero five zero, and you get nine nine hundred and fifty. So this amount appears on the debit side of the ledger or therefore it should go to income statement under the category of other income. Now how does this impact the income statement and the statement of financial position? In a ledger if you find the closing balance brought down definitely the impact should be shown under statement of financial position. So we have trade receivable balance which we have 10500 so let's enter 10500 over there and then in our provision for irrecoverable debts we have a balance of 1050 so enter there provision for irrecoverable debts and show the impact Which needs to be deducted. Then, under other income, you need to show the decrease in the provision for irrecoverable debt, which is nine hundred and fifty. Let's enter that. Decrease in P I T provision for irrecoverable debt nine hundred and fifty, and under ex. irrecoverable debt amount so how much is your irrecoverable debt for the current year so for the current year you have irrecoverable debts worth of 
100 which needs to be rejected here. Basically, if you understand the question properly and if you have a checklist to follow, it's easier for you to complete the entire problem. So now we have prepared a trade retrieval account. We prepared an irrecoverable debt account and then provision for irrecoverable debt. Now there's an easy way to show this in a formula. As you can see here, opening trade retrieval 12,000, closing irrecoverable debt 1,500, and then you find net trade receivable 10,500. Multiply by 10%, which is the provision for the year end provision for irrecoverable debt. By doing that, you find closing provision for irrecoverable debt. From that, you deduct opening provision for irrecoverable debt. And if you get a minus figure, it should go to income statement, other income. This is a formula which is completely prepared by me. You can make amendments and find your own ways. Uh, to generate a formula so these tips and tricks will be useful for you when you're completing multiple choice questions